Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. I didn't think that I was going to get this video in today, but some time just kind of popped up. My wife was going to pick up pizza with the kids and my son is asleep, so thought I would take hopefully 10 minutes or so and record this video. Get a, get a little bit ahead of tomorrow. Got to do a bunch of COVID tests to fly. See how that goes. <laughs> we haven't done that yet. Alright, so first I'm going to show you a few things that I bought. These actually come in after um, the stuff that I showed in the previous video, but we're still technically on the same day. Here's another PSA 10 Charizard that I picked up. And here's the second one. This is a CP6 Charizard EX. And I love these little cards when uh, people send them to me. I don't, I kind of like it when you put your uh, username or who you are. That way it kind of just tells me. But I imagine if I buy another one of these, I'm going to recognize that little dude. So I think that's cool. But, anyways, we're going to jump into the pack openings. The first one here is for Brennan B. And uh, I posted in the community tab for. YouTube members, uh, the discounts were added for CP6 packs. We were uh, selling for $160 a piece, and then uh, so Brennan is a Charizard member, got 15% off, and basically the price, price dropped to $136 a pack. Which to me, I mean, if you're looking at what's on eBay, I mean that's really cheap. This the cheapest full box is like $23.50, which is over $150 a pack. So it's like you're getting less than the bulk discount. Um, without having to buy a bulk, so you could just buy one pack, you have it ship sealed if you want, but Brandon kind of asked about uh, the pack openings and decided to have those opened up. I can't remember, I believe the hollow is going to be the very back, I'm hoping I'm getting that right, otherwise I'm going to show it off, okay there we go. But CP6 was pretty cool, uh, we opened up some of the packs already and had some decent pulls. We've got two full boxes, oh okay so it's it's not back there. All right, so it's going to be three off the back. I think we had figured this out. If you have like a full art, then it could possibly be like the third and fourth card or something like that. So you got a Raichu Hollow right off the bat. Very nice. If I remember correctly, you can get a Hollow in every pack. Raichu is definitely one of the better ones. Great condition card. Actually, we'll just set that there. So pack number two for Brennan. Boy, it is hot up here. I'm going through a couple, bunch of different hoops right now trying to Get Duke Energy, that's an electric company supplier down here, uh, to run me some lines so I can put in a mini split for the upper section of my building, which is where all this is set up. But in time, I plan to have this all sectioned off for the kids and have some rooms downstairs kind of set aside and dedicated to this stuff. So there's one, two, and I think if the third one from the back ends up being a hollow, then you might have something else going on. Oh nice, so the I didn't realize this was on the uh, CP6 side, but on the English side it's actually a secret rare, so it looks like it's an uncommon on the CP6 side. Oh nice, Machamp. So for those of you who don't know, Machamp you could never pull in a regular base set pack, you had to get it from a starter deck. Or you could get a non hollow version from the, um, the trainer deck, which was like 20 people in the world, who I mean, yeah, I, it, it's probably more than 20 people, but the trainer deck A's and B's were super rare, so you really don't even count them. But you couldn't ever pull this from a regular booster pack, you had to get it from a starter deck. And uh, looks like you can get it from the CP6. Let's see what we have here. Still learning. That's how little Japanese I've opened up. Alright, so we have the Poliwag, Diglett, Coughing. Got the Porygon, Nidoran. Since you, oh, I ruined it, and you got the Charizard. Oh, nice. This is actually one that I need for my personal collection. I believe he's sitting at about 700 bucks if you get him in a 10, and you know, these are way easier to grade. Wow, the centering is perfect. Well, almost perfect. I said a little bit different than the top and the bottom. Backside looks great. Oh, wow, congratulations, you got the Charizard. Great card. You still have two packs to go. We have here. Sometimes I just get a little absent minded and I just blaze right through talking and then uh, I forget to do the pack trick. And in that case, it worked out because we got the Charizard, got my Choke, Pokedex, and Raticate. Kakuna. Oh, Gyarados. A nice one, too. Got a swirl right beside of his mouth. Put this one in the sleeve. I like these CP6 packs. I can see why the box is over $2,000. Wow. Congratulations. And you still have one pack to go. No EXs or full arts, but 
We got the Charizard. Yeah, that's the one that everybody wants. We opened up a ton. There's over 80 packs for Evolutions. We didn't pull a single one. Well, not a regular one. We got a Reverse Hollow. All right, so we have Growlithe, Metapod, Ghastly, got the Beedrill, Double Colorless Energy, and Arcanine, Ponyta, Drowsy, and the Magneton. Magneton with the swirl in the bottom. Looks like that middle pack was definitely the, the chase pack for this video with that, uh, with that Charizard. But we do actually have one more pack to open up. I'm going to put all these cards inside of a sleeve, make sure I don't get anything mixed up. Which I shouldn't because these two, these two sets of uh, packs, well, five packs versus one pack, and this also Japanese versus English. So Dennis G bought a heavy first edition fossil booster pack. And we're going to see what's inside of it. I think we're down to the, all of the packs that are left for Fossil now, 21.2 grams or higher. All right, we're going to start off with Recycle and Mysterious Fossil, two trainers from Fossil. There's four trainers total. Look at that, got the Golem. Or it might be four common trainers and then one uncommon trainer with the Mr. Fuji. Fuji. Ghastly, Kabuto. Energy search, there's one of them. The only one left was I think it's Gamble. We don't have we haven't pulled a gamble. Ekans, Krabby, Geodude, and Oh, an Articuno. Man, this is the third Articuno that we've pulled here recently. Oh, Searing looks great. Looks like there's a little print line going through his feet. You can kind of see it there and slightly on the right side of his wings. But none of them are prominent. You're looking directly at it. You got yourself a legendary bird. Edges look pretty good on the back. So I got a little bit of whitening down here on the bottom right. Centering's not perfect, but the front looks really nice. Wow, congratulations, Dennis. You pulled, in my opinion, the best bird. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe I'll have another video to, or two sneak in. But if not, I might have a little pause until I get back from vacation. Thanks.